compound interest involves this new thing that we've seen. But it's actually something we may have seen in the past. So let's start. Determine the amount of interest invested on $500 for three years at 6% compounded annually each year. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this entire project and see what we've got. So for year one, we're going to start with $500. So that is our starting value, what we call our principal, right? Now the interest earned is just like before. I is equal to 500 times 0 0.06, which is equal to $30. The total amount is 530 bucks. We cut, now we're gonna take the 530 and we're gonna move it down to the next row. Interest is again calculated by taking our principal and multiplying it by the percent that we said it was gonna increase by. And this time we got 3180. And we get a total of 595.51. When we go and take a look at the ratios of the different rates, we find that each one of these rates increased by a, by a multiple of 1.06, which could be looked at as 1 plus 0 0.06. You've seen this before. It looks exactly like our exponential equations that we studied last unit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use our exponential equation for compound interest where A represents the amount of the future investment, how much it's going to be worth in the future. P represents the principal invested, the amount, the starting amount, it's the starting amount of the money that I put in. I represents the interest rates per year and N represents the number of compounding periods. So all interest rates are always going to be referred to as interest rates per annum for today. Next day we'll start changing that, we'll modify that. And yearly compounding is stated as compounding annually. Now to calculate the amount of interest what we have to do is we have to take the total amount that we make which is our future value, our amount of money we have at the end, and then subtract it from our original amount. We're going to use our equation and find the total amount of money that we have at the end. So this is our basic equation. A is equal to P, 1 plus I, to the N. Now, in order to do this, I tend to start by writing my equation every single time. So I'll write A is equal to P, 1 plus i to the n. Every time I do these problems, I always write the following acronym. A PIN. A P I N. And what those represent are all the little letters, all the variables that we have in our equation. A P I N. So in this case, P starts for our standing value. So our starting value. So we're going to make that 1500. I is going to be 5%. So 5% is really just 5 divided by 100 since you have issues with that. And N is actually just 10 years. And we'll just substitute directly in. So we have something that looks like this. 1500, 1 plus 5 divided by 100 raised to the 10. which gives us this number, $2,443.34. Now, to find the interest, the interest is equal to the amount minus the present value, which is 244.34 uh, minus 1500, and we end up with 943 34 for our interest. Our next problem follows the same setup as before. And we get the following.
like you to do the last question that's on your package for the day. And the questions that you'll be working on are page 138 to 143. It's in the homework package I've handed out to you for the day. Good luck.